everyone, Blake here. At the end of last summer, my sister Bree and I discovered the Comics Cafe. Since then, we learned a lot about making coffee. I liked your idea for a new coffee drink. The Bree Special. Awesome. I hope you know, Bree. You will always be accepted here at Comics Cafe, just as you are. We learned about ourselves. How can God love me even after I messed up? Well, that's a wonderful thing about God. He shows us that love isn't a feeling. Love is a choice. And we've learned about God, too. How do you know Jesus actually, like, came back to life? Like, do you think he's really God? I do. We've come a long way at the Comics Cafe this year. But now, all that might be coming to a close. It all started when a new cafe called Sunbound came to town. In today's news, people across town are refusing to shop at both of our local cafes after their bitter rivalry hit new heights. We were already having money problems and we've lost a lot of customers, so we can't stay open. Mrs. Carey, you're selling the cafe? We're hoping that it will still be a comic book store and we'll tell the new owners what great workers you are so you can still work here. We couldn't believe it. We wouldn't. This is the week we tried everything to save the Comics Cafe. Well, uh, looks like our customers are going back to Sunbound again. What? Why? Oh, well, you know, they're just giving away free coffee, calling it the sellout special. Because we're selling our cafe. Ugh, they're so mean. But we can't stay mad at Sunbound. Okay, we have to forgive. I think that's very wise, Taylor. Is there anything we can do? No, Bray, we passed our deadline for all our loan payments, and so now the company is asking for all of the money at once. Okay, I only understood, like, four of those words. Basically, we have to come up with $100,000 to keep the cafe. $100,000? We can raise that. I'll sign some autographs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can go around town, I could sell some comic books. Yeah. Be like a newsie, you know, just like a... I might be able to uh, sell some of my robotic stuff. Everyone, it's okay. It's been a wonderful year. We've treasured every moment with each of you. I know what to do. We should pray. Oh, that's a great idea. God, please save the Comics Cafe. Drop $100,000 from the sky or something. We all love this place and you can't let it go away. Amen. And God, thank you for all that has happened this year. And whatever your will is for the Comics Cafe, let that happen, even if it's not what we want. Amen. Scurby, why would you ask God to not do what we want? Well, God might do what we want, but prayer isn't about getting what we want. It's about seeing what God wants. Yeah, that makes no sense. All I know is that God has to answer this prayer. Okay, he, he just has to. Just don't be too disappointed if it doesn't happen how you want, okay? Oh, it's, it's Brightside Comics. Uh, maybe they want to make an offer? Yeah, I'll come too. Any second now, $100,000 is going to show up. Ready, ready, ready? Yes! No! Hi, Mrs. Oglethorpe. Wait, did you come to donate $100,000? Oh, dearies, you've rearranged again. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, and a, and a kitty chino for Mrs. Wattles broke here. We're closed, the cafe's for sale. It's no problem. Mason, I think we just gotta raise the money ourselves. We could shovel snow. Oh, that's impossible. The snow's melting. It's April. Oh, I got it. We can sell lemonade. Mm -hmm. It's too cold. It's April. We could mow lawns. No, nope, it's, it's April. April. I don't know. I just don't think there's a way we can save the cafe. 